Hi, welcome to the Data Tech. So today we are going to uh, discuss about uh, uh, an introduction to the database. So this is going to be a complete video series for SQL Masterclass. Okay, so the first video is going to be an introduction video. Okay, so we will be discussing about like what is database and what is the difference between SQL and database and what is the difference between modern database and traditional database and what is the difference between a file system and database and first of all what is a database. So this is all the things we will be discussing and at the end of the video I'll be giving with the course content uh, so the syllabus what are all the things that I am going to cover in this video series okay fine so the very first thing uh, why do we need a database for or what is database a database is a place where all your data gets stored see the applications that you use in your day-to-day -day life Instagram Uber Zomato or Google YouTube or an Amazon you are doing a transaction so all these informations whatever you just give to that application if it is an Instagram you upload a photo you like something you comment something right so all these information has to be get stored in some databases see what you are sending is through an UI so UI is just a user interface right so no one can I cannot like I'm I'm an we are an IT person so we know how to query a database or to insert a data my mom or dad cannot just connect to a SQL database and do an insert into select star to get the information from the Instagram or Facebook or YouTube right so they need a UI so UI is a place we are just sending the data and retrieving the data but what happens in the background is it just gets stored in a database so all the retrieval and write happen read and write happen from and to the database to your UI okay so every application that you use has a database. Imagine you are just making a transaction in Amazon. You are placing an order. What if your data has been not stored? Your transaction information is not stored in the back end. Then your order will not be get placed, right? So everything needs to be get landed somewhere. And that's end of day. It's going to be a storage. And that storage should have a specific functionality to increase the, enhance the read and write operations of the data and how it gets stored. So we use database, right? Storage is even a hard disk is a storage, right? So why we can't store all the data to a hard disk, straight, just like that are our data, right? So a database has an advantages, right? So if you take databases, we have two types. Now we understood the need of database and then we understood at, at least in a high level and we know what is database now. So if you take types of database, there are two types. We have some traditional database, we call it as an RDBMS, Relational Database Management System, where we create relationship between tables and that's where like we will connect the tables and we get the data. Right, imagine that you are making a transaction uh, for order, placing an order. So here, order information will be in an order table, transaction information will be in transaction table and customer information will, will be in a customer table. They will not store everything in a single table, that's how it won't work. So that's where the enhancement of data modeling comes. Data model means how good you are modeling the table, the data. That way it will be easy for us to read and retrieve or for the applications, right? So there are two types, RDBMS and then modern NoSQL databases, something called NoSQL databases. NoSQL are not much used, okay? I'm a data engineer. I worked in NoSQL, but I can tell you out of 10 projects, one or two projects will be using NoSQL. So if I'm not going to teach you what is NoSQL in this video, but if you want to know what is NoSQL, I already made a video, you can have a look, right? Because in NoSQL, we will not maintain any relationships, right? But Unfortunately, the most of the use cases current world has, still has the uh, relationship maintenance between the tables, right? So if you take uh, RDBMS, so th this video series is going to be based on an RDBMS database. We have so many RDBMS products, okay? A database products, right? If you take uh, a media player, you have so many media player, right? Just imagine database as a software that you install in a Windows or Linux, that's it. Imagine that as a software, you install a Word document, you install a game, right? So we have so many products in RDBMS like MySQL, Oracle, DB2, SQL Server Manager, PostgreSQL, these are from different companies, they release it and some of them are open source databases. If you take MySQL, it's an open source database, whereas Oracle is not open source, you have to pay for the license, right? So in this video, I'm going to pick the product MySQL. I'll tell you why at the end of, at the middle of the video, I'll tell you why I'm going with the MySQL. Right, so we just saw some of the important things. The next thing is, what is the difference between, you might all hear about the word SQL or sometimes people used to say SQL, Structured Query Language. We have something called Programming Language where this Python, Java, Scala comes into picture and we have something called Markup Language where HTML comes into picture. Something like that we have called uh, Structured Query Language where the SQL comes into picture. So some people used to ask me, does SQL comes under Programming Language? SQL is also a Programming Language, but then, Wait, before you judge, I'll just tell you this. See, 
even if you google it or even even if you do a chat gpt thing right if you ask sql is a programming language it says yes but then in the market people used to say it is not a programming language because it has been categorized as a structured query language so then people used to say no no you are wrong gautam no uh, sql is not a programming language but basically it is so this is just since you are in a learning phase you should know this okay but just don't go uh, in an interview and say like no sql is a programming language don't do that because all the people are not having the mindset of what exactly it is right just say it is a structured query language but since you are a learning phase keep this in the mind okay fine so sql uh, initially it was been invented in 1970 if you see sql right when you start seeing the syntax of sql it, it will be like an uh, normal english language right select from the table select from the table where this condition matches so it's all like a general uh, english right so it is very easy that's why people used to say especially fresher used to say well, sql is more easy than programming language but sql do have the complex queries you know people are not seeing the real face of sql actually and people used to say think the data analyst or data engineers mainly work only in sql a lot they never write a code no it's not like that 50 50 50% we write code 50% we write sql it's not about all data engineers or data analysts only do uh, uh, the sql part right but but see, data scientists also use sql but then people have the understanding of okay data scientists anyway they should use python r scala but then we are also using all those languages you know fine so uh, sql is a structured query language it's invented in 1970 by a person called donald in ibm right and then everybody started using that structured query language for their product like oracle used sql mysql used sql postgres used sql so sql is a communication medium see you want to connect communicate with the database right you need a language right so if you want to communicate with your operating system or your machine you need a programming language like python java right with that you make the machine to understand what you want to get it right something like that to database we need some query languages to connect so that's where this sql comes in the picture so people used to ask me what is the difference between sql and database see sql is a language that you use to connect with the database the database is a product it's a software it's a framework you can imagine in that way right so you need to learn sql right and if you see right in even in oracle or mysql any rdbms the syntax of all will be like 80 to 90% same because they use the same sql structure which was initially used by ibm the very first language uh, of sql is called sql 92 it's a base language that all these people are used and there are some minor changes has been happened for example if you take mysql right select star from table and if you want to limit the output of the select right at the end we used to give limit 10 only 10 records will come but in oracle you have to do like this select star from table where row num less than or equal to 10 so you see the difference right and now i'll tell you why the reason i pick mysql as a, a, a like a product to teach all this complete rdbms video series is in big data right not even in big data in advanced data engineering market if you go right or even in cloud if you go most of the product has the sql compatibility right because all the data engineers are compatible with sql also so most of the components you see it will be like based on query engine some sql query engines based products only you will see right so like if you take a big data we have something called hive which support sql and if you take uh, in google we have something called bigquery which is based on sql and if you take aws we have something called athena redshift it's again based on sql so all this advanced data engineering framework support sql and all this sql syntax if you see right it will be similar to mysql's uh, sql okay mysql is a product don't confuse with my has a sql in it mysql it's a product database product and it has sql so that's the reason i always teach uh, to the data engineers or data analyst or to by making a video i prefer mysql's syntax it's not wrong even you can pick oracle with all the concept what i'm going to teach you you can even pick oracle and you can start exploring that's completely fine but i'll be going with the mysql right now at, at the next question is what is the difference between file system and a database i can just directly store uh, the data in an excel and then i can store it in my e colon or d colon why do i need a database see database gives you lot of advantages you know it has this row column format and easily uh, you can able to see the data human readable and the communication language it's all about like sql which is very easy to understand not just that it has the concept of partition indexing primary key foreign key constraints and many other string manipulations and reg regular expressions and it, it in the very important thing it distributes the data it has replication fault tolerant so many other stuff guys you your file system will not do that your normal standalone file system like windows or linux will never do that 
even if you go for any distributed file system that doesn't support this index partition you cannot tune you cannot increase the performance of the read and write after some extent after some point of time even in hadoop we have hdfs but hdfs supports all the replication fault tolerant distribution but still we use hive or we use any other query engines to do to query the data from the file system because that has all the uh, performance optimization the hive has everything it has index it has partitions right so uh, i'm just telling you in the high level why not uh, file system why database right so now you got an idea of why not file system or sometimes people will never get this question also right so only experienced people used to ask me if you are frustrated if you are watching this you can you need to ask this question why should i have to store in a database why can't i just store in excel and store it in a hard disk in my c colon or d colon you should get this question all right fine and uh, all, almost like we have seen on uh, a high level of introduction about what is database now i'll just give an introduction about myself so if you are very new to my channel and if you are seeing me for the first time myself gautam i work for a leading product based company you can find my uh, details from my linkedin page which the link is there in the description box of this video i have two youtube channels one is for tamil language i do videos in regional languages also which is like uh, tamil and then i also have an english uh, youtube channel where i uh, i just upload the same topic what i teach in the tamil channel i'll just upload in my english channel so combine of these two channel i have more more than 2 lakh subscribers and then in linkedin i have like 50k followers uh, and um, and if you take my instagram i have two instagram page one is for tamil and one is for english and i have 85k in tamil and uh, 10 point something uh, k in for english because you need to know like who i am and i am uh, what is the eligibility that i have uh, to take this master class or any other courses right in my youtube channel i have like 20 hours of data engineering course which is available for free it's completely into big data aws cloud azure so i have like everything i've touched and i am also planning to upload the sql master class python data engineering master class and then like uh, aws google cloud azure data engineering master class it's all gonna come and also lead code sql questions lead code python questions so everything is going to be get uploaded stay tuned with my channel you can find all the videos in the description box of this video and if you find if you don't find some links and soon i'll be going to upload all of this right so i'm going to give you a walkthrough of the sql master class the course content right whatever i'm going to teach you so if you see here right i i cover introduction so i have the content in my ipad and you'll be seeing somewhere here okay my sql installation windows linux and notebooks and then basic sql commands part one and two types of creatable and then bare condition sql constraints and minimal key super key candidate key natural key surrogate key uh, aggregate functions not in in alias alter table commit rollback grant revoke and then uh, case when null handling string handling subqueries views sql joins window functions union union all index partition daytime rejects python jdbc because uh, in the database right uh, it's not just you will connect with the database only with sql you can connect with any programming languages python java scala or even you can use apis rest apis http so you can do right that's how your applications the day to day life which you use is working in that way right so i'll be teaching you all that way as well so here we use python jdbc jdbc is a protocol called java J database connectivity so don't think okay jdbc means it's only with java no it's not like that it's a protocol invented with the help of java but you can connect with any programming languages next up some of the topics from the data modeling perspective normalization uh scd acid ddl dml tcl and dcl so these are something which i'll the last one which i added here i'll be covering uh in the beginning itself so this is something that i have added to my syllabus right but apart from this like i'll be adding some more other uh topics also on the fly right so we have so many it's not like a it's not like something i can limit the content of the box for the sequel you know so i'll be covering so many other things the playlist will be keep on increasing so please stay tuned with my uh, channel i already made a nine hours of sql masterclass video in tamil okay so now i am just doing that same for english also right but i am just releasing the videos by series wise like part one part like lesson one lesson two something like that by the end i'll be clubbing all these videos into one masterclass video also and uh, that i'll be doing in with, within two weeks of from now right so thanks for watching guys and uh, if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward it to your friends and colleagues and my instagram page is the data you can follow me there as well thanks for watching